So now that our shadow pass is ready, we're going to start creating a grid environment. So we're going to grab a background, make it white, and make it a square image. So now we're going to grab our rectangular mask, plug it on it, and we're going to use 1.1. Now we're going to copy this rectangular mask, paste it over, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. 90. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to copy our, our shape, that, the, that is our floor, and instantiate it. And let's make some room here. We're going to grab a uh, texture 2D. Now, plug our texture on it. Plug it to our shape. And let's take a look. Okay, on the texture 2D, set the type, let's change it to wrap, and the U and the V scale. So, okay. Now let's merge our camera over here and copy our render, paste it over. Okay. Now we're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna use the same texture to create a spherical environment. So let's make some room here. Now we're gonna grab uh, an, another shape 3D. Okay. And let's copy this texture 2D. Plug our texture. So we get our new shape, and on the shape, we're going to set it to sphere. Okay, and let's make it way bigger. This should be enough. Now let's give it a little subdivision. We're going to merge our camera, copy our render. I think we're going to have to make it a little more bigger. Let's double it. Okay. Now back on the texture 2D. Let's set the U and the V scale a little higher. Great. Okay. Uh, the last pass we're going to do here and so we're going to copy our shape. And this last pass is going to be just a mask. So we can compose it all together later. So we're going to grab a background and a lip smack. And we're going to make our background square. Uh, a little bigger. Oops. Yes. And let's make it white. Let's plug our lips. And we're going to make the, uh, let's set it to 1 and 1, perfect. Now we're going to plug as our texture, and as always, let's merge our camera, get a renderer, let's copy this one, okay. Uh, now we're going to start merging all together. So we're going to grab a bitmap mask, okay, uh, we're going to do a soft edge here, but as you can see, when you use the soft edge, we do have a blur on the uh, place like this, so what I'm going to do, we're gonna, I'm going to remove the soft edge, and I'm going to add a blur to right over here. Okay, now, now it's gonna work. Great. Now we're gonna use this to mask the the two grid environments, the floor and the spherical one. I'm gonna grab another bitmap mask, and we're gonna get it from our already composite path. 
all the way to the end before the glows. And we're gonna use this. We're gonna okay. Now let's give it a lot of soft edge, né? And we're gonna plug the other bitmap here. And what what we want to do here is make a mask for the spherical environment, so it it doesn't show below the the grid environment, the the grid floor. So let's find here, multiply. Now I think we're gonna have to invert this mask. So let's take a look here. Let's invert it. Okay, perfect. This is what we want. Okay, now we're gonna use this. So we're gonna grab a boolean tool. Turn a boolean. Okay. Plug our circle grid, plug our mask, and we're gonna make it subtract. Uh, let's invert the mask here. Okay. Great. Okay, now that we have our circle grid, let's grab a background. Uh, set it to some gradient. Let's. I'm just gonna copy over the colors that I've used on my composition. Just some weird colors here. Let's set this up. Top right. Now the bottom left. And the bottom right. Wait, down here. Okay. Now to Now to the bottom right. That. Okay. Now we're gonna grab our spherical grid and merge it. Let's merge it over our background. Okay, and let's set it to difference. Over here. Great. Uh, now that we have this, we're gonna do something quite similar to our floor grid. Uh, we're gonna grab another bitmap mask, and we're gonna grab this mask all the way from the shadow pass. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. Let's grab channel booleans, and let's plug our floor here, our bitmap here, and let's subtract them. Uh, invert the mask here okay this way the we're gonna gonna we're just gonna see the grid where there is light and we're not gonna see them on the shadows so now we're gonna merge our floor grid to our circle grid and again as difference okay Okay, great. Now for the final step here, for this part, we're gonna merge our shadow to our grids. So let's merge this over. And let's get our green. Merge it here. Okay, now I'm gonna grab now a color correction node and I'm gonna get the gamma and put it way low. This should do it. Now I'm gonna grab a glow. Just have a glow here. Okay, put it here. Set this up. Five. Five, five. This should do it. Now we're gonna merge this to our composite sphere. So let's see what we have here. 
Great. Uh, if you're having this alpha issue, like I have, uh, when working with float numbers, all you gotta do here is grab a uh, brightness contrast, set it to work only on the alpha channel, and clip the black and the white. This should fix the problem. Okay. Okay, now, for now on, it's just a matter of tweaking things and giving some effects and just playing around until you have something that you like it. Hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time. Uh -huh.